Hello lovely Flash Tube friends and welcome back to my channel. My name's Lauren, also known as Cross Stitch Bunny here on YouTube and over on Instagram. Thank you so much for coming and taking the time to watch me at this very busy time of year. If you are a returning subscriber, I really appreciate it. And if you are brand new, then welcome. I know that quite a few people subscribed um, off the back of watching my Jingle Ball video recently. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed that and seeing what the Jingle Ball was all about. This is my regular floss tube. This is my mid-month update although we are on the 20th of December, so I'm slightly late to call it a mid-month update, but nonetheless, um, that is what this is. So this is all my stitching that I've been up to since the beginning of December, 1st of December onwards. This is what I've been up to. Um, it is the 20th of December, like I said, so I'm feeling super festive. I've got my dog Christmas jumper on, of course. <laughs> um, I've got my Christmas nails done just had those done, so yeah, pleased with those. And I'm feeling festive. I have spent the entire morning wrapping presents, um, which was both really fun. I put Christmassy music on and just wrapped and wrapped and wrapped, but it also took so much longer than I had anticipated. So I started wrapping at about 11 a.m. and I thought I'd be finished by lunchtime. I finished about 20 minutes ago and it's now uh, 10 to three. And I was like to Adam, I so want to film my mid-month floss tube. It's already so late. Please, will you do the school run? And he has. Um, so children finish at three o'clock and quarter past three. Although they don't always come out exactly on time for the older ones at quarter past three. So I'm reckoning that I've got, I've got half an hour. They're probably going to burst through the door at about half past maybe a little bit later if I'm lucky so we're going to try and keep this one quite short and sweet because I want to be packed away before everyone gets home and chaos begins this was my last day child free so as of today um, we're on Christmas holidays Daisy does have half a day in school tomorrow um, in the morning it's Christmas jumper day and they finish at lunchtime um, but Hadley has finished he is done so yeah as of tomorrow no more child free days until the new year uh, so I'm really glad that I finished all my present wrapping. It took a long time, but everything is done. Everything is sorted. All we now need to do on Christmas Eve uh, is move everything out of hiding and to the tree. Um, so yes, I'm feeling organised. So all of that said, we will get on with the stitching. I've got five projects to share with you. Um, a couple of them, or maybe three of them, are new starts. I've got a couple of existing whips to share with you. And first I'm going to show you the ones that are not seasonal because I do have three lovely wintry slash Christmassy whips to share with you. And I've got two that are not seasonal. So we're going to start with those, effectively um, get them out of the way and then move on to the festive stuff. Um, the first one I'm sharing with, with you is my Nadez de Casarina Bathtub Witch or Cauldron Witch. I always forget what her official name is, but she, yeah, she's my Cauldron Witch. She's lovely when she's finished. This is where I was last time you saw her on Floss Tube, and I have made a little bit of progress. Here she is. So this is where we're at at the moment. She's not far from a finish. I've got her leg to fill in here, another leg that I'll like kick up in the air here. And then I've just got bits, just like little bits to fill in. And then of course, all the backstitch everywhere. Ooh. But yeah, I think she's looking nice. She's looking quite neat and tidy. She's being stitched entirely in DMC, all the proper DMC threads. And she's being done on 18 count scully fabric from Stitch Bunny Shop. So that is whip number one. Whip number two, my second non-festive whip to show you, is actually a new start. And I was not, a, like, not trying to have any new starts in December unless they were Christmassy. However, I realized that much earlier on in 2023, I bought a pattern from Laura Chaco, and it is a new year pattern but for the year of the rabbit which was 2023 or is 2023 
and I've been meaning to pick it up and stitch it all year and I just haven't and now we're so close to the end of the year. Um, I think because this is based on like the Lunar New Year cycle um, with the animals, I don't think the Year of the Dragon actually begins until February. So I've made a start on this. I would like to finish it within 2023, but because it is sort of referring to the lunar calendar, as long as I finish it by some time in like say early February to be safe, then I will have finished it within the lunar new year of 2023 if I'm making any sense. Um, so this is the Shimanshu rabbit pattern. I'm gonna pop it on the screen if I can. I can't remember offhand whether there was actually a mock-up image with the pattern. If there is, I will pop it on the screen. Um, and if not, I'm sorry, I can't. Um, but this is where I am at. So, this is my lovely little Shimanju rabbit and I am stitching this in all of the called for DMC colors but I think I might be using a different brand. I've also, I've only used one color so far. Um, should we have a quick little look in my notebook? If I can flick to it very quickly, it should be easy to find. Here it is, um, CXC. I thought I was stitching this in a different brand. So yes, I'm stitching this in CXC threads. And as you can see, it's very teeny tiny. I'm sorry about the shadows. This room is not the best for floss tubing in, but I just wanted to film in my Christmas room one more time. <laughs> um, but yeah, the shadows are not good. I'm so sorry. That's no, a bit better. I can't zoom too close to the camera. I shouldn't have sat here by the window. <laughs> Never mind. It is too late for me to move, so we'll just uh, we'll just roll with it. But there's my little rabbit. Um, so this is being stitched with CXC, like I said, and I'm doing it on 32 count, just like a yellow scrap of linen. It is linen. Um, so yeah, just a very pale yellow linen. Um, but I'm doing it over one. So it's going to be super teeny tiny. Super teeny tiny, which is why my camera's also struggling to really pick up the individual stitches because they're just so small. But I hope you can see like the negative space. So all these bits that you can just see the yellow poking through are all negative space and they will not be stitched. They will be left that way as per the pattern. But yeah, there's loads of tiny little delicate, like delicate motifs that are just left as negative space. And I'm really happy with this. It's going to be really small and super cute, which is exactly what I wanted. I didn't want it to be large. Like if I'd stitched it over two, you know, it would have ended up four times this size. Um, I've got this in the Nerge number one hoop. So the smallest hoop, which is a 110 millimeter frame. So this frame is only 11 centimeters um, this way, I think, and slightly slightly smaller across so yeah very tiny as that is an 11 centimeter frame and obviously the top is done because bunny's head doesn't go any further up and I'm about halfway down so bunny's going to finish about here so yes it's going to be very teeny tiny super cute and I might try and make that into an ornament at some point um, so that is all my non-festive whips out of the way. We will move on to the festive whips, two of which are new starts and one that you've seen before. So let's start with the existing whip first. This is my lovely Owl Forest wintery whip. It is called Silver Hoof Frost. Beautiful pattern, absolutely love it. Loving the colors of these threads. They are just, just so pretty, really, really like them. This is where you um, saw it last on Floss Tube. This was my progress and I've done a fair bit more. So this is where we are at the moment. Now I've done quite a lot more. I hope you can 
can see the difference. I'm well over halfway with this now. I am doing this on Saga. Again, I haven't checked my figures before I've started floss tubing, but I think this border wasn't complete like at the top and it now is. I've added snowflakes. I've worked some more of this dark color at the bottom. And I think quite a lot of this snow is new as well that I've started dotting around. Like this is so cute. I think I finished my tree as well. I don't think that was finished last time you saw it. So you've got the cute little dog here with the trees and the snow and the snowflakes and the cabin and it's all just so wintry and beautiful. I'm using one of my favorite needle minders that I keep hopping. I keep swapping this one between loads of my different winter projects at the moment because I just think it's so cute. Um, that is from my Stitch Bunny shop and I think I have just restocked it because I did run out. Um, so although I would not be able to get it to you this side of Christmas, I have restocked them. They're so cute. This is being stitched with all the Owl Forest threads with their own thread brand base rather than the DMC base. Um, I've not really had too many more issues with tangling. Like I said um, on my last episode, I think I've just kind of adapted my technique for using these threads um, and I'm getting on with them okay now. Not too many frustrating knot situations. So that is good. And I'm stitching this on 32 count Zweigart Blue Spruce Linen, which is the recommended fabric for this design. So there we go. That is wintry whip number one. Moving on to wintry new starts, I've got two to show you. So the first one is not overtly Christmassy, um, but I think it's very Christmassy. Um, this pattern is by Lauren at Flossibilities. I think she's like Lauren underscore Flossibilities on Instagram. Um, and she's also a floss tuber. And she's designed this gorgeous pattern called the Polar Bear Express. And yes, I did. I saw it on Instagram and I fell in love with it because in her last floss tube episode, um, she did show a bunch of patterns um, that she just designed, like four or five, but this one wasn't amongst them. And then she announced the release of this pattern just really recently on Instagram and I fell in love with it and I bought it straight away, like the day that I saw the post and I've started it. So this is a gorgeous design. I love it. I love the polar bears. I wish there were two baby polar bears just because I've got two baby bears, but it is perfect the way that it is and I'm not gonna mess around with trying to change it. So we're sticking to the, the three polar bears and this is where I'm at. There is a lot of white stitching and I know that a lot of people don't like stitching white, um, myself included sometimes, but a lot of the patterns that I seem to fall in love with have a lot of white stitches. Um, and I don't think my stitching's looking terrible. I'll let you be the judge. <laughs> um, I've zoomed in a little bit, but no, I think my white stitches are looking pretty neat. And I've made a nice start. So that is like the polar bear under the, like the central writing and I've started the border. I've done one little snowflake here. Lots left to do on this. I think this design has somewhere around 4,000-ish stitches, give, give or take. It's on my pattern keeper. Um, I think it's yeah, some, somewhere around the 4,000 mark. It's definitely not above 5,000. So it's not a huge design. I think the, the dimensions are like 80, 80 high by like 170-ish wide off the top of my head. So that might not be entirely accurate. Um, but yeah, this is the first pattern that I've purchased from Flossibilities. Um, the pattern is great very easy to read, very clear instructions, nicely laid out key, everything's lovely, it's pattern keeper compatible. So yeah, I'm loving this, really, really enjoying it. And I am stitching this with all the called for DMC and all the called for over dyed flosses. I think there's a mixture of brands. Um, there's Weeks Dye Works, I think there's Gentle Arts as well. But yes, everything called for is what I'm using. 
and I'm stitching this also on the called for or suggested fabric which is the Smoky Pearl 32 counts Weigart linen. Very nice fabric. You one last look at my bear. So yeah, really enjoying this one. I was not intending to have this new start because the one I'm about to show you, my very, very Christmassy one, I'd already started. Um, however, the whip I'm about to share with you is a sal and I had like, I've been keeping on track with the sal and I had finished stitching and finished the part that had been released and I was waiting for the final part to be released and I had a few days to go until it was going to come out so I thought that I would just get on with something else that was Christmassy hence the another new start but never mind they'll all get finished at some point this is my last whip to share with you today again another new start and this is the lovely pattern it is a jingle ball purchase so if you watched my jingle ball video the pattern will be familiar this is the lovely merry and bright sal by tiny modernist and i will show you where i'm up to i am super super excited that i have kept up with this it's amazing i have amazed myself um, I've done every part as they've been released and yeah, loving it, super pleased. And here it is. How amazing is it that I'm keeping up with this sale? I, I'm so excited and I absolutely love this. As I said, this is a tiny modernist sale that was available at the Jingle Ball. I don't think you can purchase it outside of the, the Jingle Ball event. So if you didn't get it, unfortunately, you won't be able to stitch it this year. Um, but I think that it will probably be for general release at some point, just as a complete design rather than a sell. Um, but I have been doing it as the, the pieces come out. So the first bit I received at the Jingle Ball, the minute that I purchased it, and then the other bits have been coming out gradually. And the last part has now been released. I think that was released yesterday, but it's a bit funny with the timings. Like I usually get it in the middle of the night and I wake up to the parts in my inbox because of the time difference. Um, but yes, I've definitely got the pattern now. I think that I woke up to having the pattern in my inbox this morning. I think that's right. Um, so this bit is going to be Santa and reindeer. And I absolutely love it. Is this? I'm just thinking out loud. I'm not sure if this is a new start or whether you had seen it. No, you've not seen it, no. Sorry, thinking aloud, no, you haven't seen it. You've seen the pattern on my Jingle Ball video, but I hadn't started it last time I filmed. Definitely not. So no, this is the first time you're seeing it and I've done so much. And all my guesses turned out to be correct. So I guessed that this was Santa from the blurry image. I guessed that this would be a reindeer with a sleigh. I guessed the baubles and this was the only section I was a bit unsure about. I guessed that it was either going to be trees or maybe something else like holly leaves and things like that, but it was trees, so I was right. Um, also, I'll try and zoom in, although like I said, the lighting isn't the best, but here I have made one change by doing Santa's beard in Whisper. And it's a bit tricky to see. If I turn it to the side, I don't know if you can see that it's a little bit fluffy. Um, but from the front, like it doesn't really show that well. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Like I have fluffed it all up. Um, and from the side, it looks great and really fluffy, but like straight ahead, like straight on, you can't see the fluff that much. Um, but I thought that would be fun to just give him a fluffy beard. So that was just done in Whisper and everything else has been done in the DMC called for colors. Is it actual DMC or have I used another brand? Let me check. Uh, let me have a quick look. No, DMC. So I've just pulled from my actual DMC stash for this and I'm stitching this on 14 count print from my Stitch Bunny Sharp that I've forgotten the name of. Is it 14? 14 count? Yeah, 14 count Ada. 
I just wanted this to be a really nice, easy stitch. If you're desperate to know <laughs> the colour, I, I can find out, but this was just like an off cut that I, I pinched from my stock room. So I know it's one of my prints, but um, I'm not sure on the name. I'm sorry about that. But it's very nice, just like a neutral, just like a neutral sort of stony colour, but it's not stone washed. It's not that one because it's a bit creamier than that. That's more of an off-white. This is kind of more of a cream, like a cool, creamy beige colour. Um, but there we go. I am planning on starting this section tonight and then I will stitch on it till it's finished. Like I will stitch monogamously on that bottom section until this is finished. So whether it takes me one evening, two evenings, however many evenings it takes me because I doubt I will be getting any daytime stitching done now with the kids around and um, yeah this is all I'm going to work on now until it's done and then once this is finished I will switch back to my polar bears. So that is everything, everything that I've got to show you stitching wise. I have a tiny bit of haul. It is quarter past three so I do have time to show you. Um, this is just a little bit of pattern haul so Yasmin on Instagram and also on Flush Tube. Um, Yasmin's made with love. She is a designer as well as a Flush Tuber and a stitcher. And I did a little bit of shopping. I was just checking there was nothing left in my envelope. I did a little bit of shopping when she had a sale on her Etsy. And these are the patterns I got. So I'm just gonna put that one at the back. Yes, this is the order that I will show them in. I'm just getting them organised. So, the first one I purchased, I think there's going to be some glare. They are in plastic. The first one is the owl pattern. So this is the autumn owls. They're very lovely. So that is the first pattern that I got and it is just called autumn owl. The next one I got is from the same um, seasonal collection of animals and this is the spring hair. So spring hair and there is the design. And there are winter and um, summer animals also but I didn't necessarily want to stitch um, them as four seasons. I just liked the owl and liked the, the rabbit or the hair as standalone pieces and um, so I'm not intending on getting the other two like those are my two favorites I'm trying to be sensible with my shopping so I just picked my two favorites and then from the animals on parade collection I purchased this cute little mouse so cute and a squirrel so that's the animals on parade squirrel and i got the lovely autumn fox so that's it not too much haul to share just a few little bits i think i was fairly sensible given all the crazy black friday sales everywhere um leading into December also, there was still a lot of sales on. Um, one exciting bit of news is that I do have an extra copy of this Fox pattern by Yasmin to do as a giveaway. So I'm not gonna do that giveaway in today's episode because it's nearly Christmas, you know, there's no chance that I'm gonna get it into the post to anyone at this point, um, but in the new year, Keep watching and yeah, in January at some point, I will do a giveaway for a copy of this lovely fox chart because I do have two. Uh, one for me and one to give away. So thank you very much to Yasmin for allowing me to do that. And I know that loads of you will want to stitch this cute little fox. So watch out for that. There will be a giveaway coming in the new year. Other than that, there's not much left for me to say other than that I wish you all a really, really Merry Christmas. Whatever you're doing, whoever you're spending it with or whether you're having just a quiet Christmas uh, in stitchy solitude, 
however you're spending Christmas. I hope that you enjoy it. I hope it's the Christmas that you want. And I will see you all um, at the very end of the year, possibly um, for my end of year review or at the beginning of January for my end of year review, which will still make sense. You know, I'll get to the very end of the year then we'll review everything that I did in 2023 and probably have a bit of a whip parade to start off the new year. I will leave you just with some little clips and videos and photos just of the Christmassy fun that we got up to with the kids recently because that is the main bit of my life update really is that we've had loads of Christmassy fun with the kids, went to a winter wonderland, did santery things and all that kind of stuff and rather than talk you through it for those of you that are interested and want to have a look at my two little ones having fun I will just play that clip for you now while I say goodbye um, and for those of you that don't want to watch it that's perfectly fine but I know um, some of you do enjoy, do enjoy seeing a few glimpses into my family life so I will leave you with that. Merry Christmas everyone and I will see you in 2024. Take care. Bye.
together. Sorry. You did, yes. You've grown a bit, haven't you? Yeah. Not as much as hardly. <laughs> so then, tell me, how could you be this year? How did you learn this year? Yeah. Um, stage two. You're stage two. Oh, well done. Uh, what about you? Are you close to me? You're stage one. <laughs> and again, you're boxing. Stage one boxing. <laughs> With daddy? Yeah. Well, that's really good. And you, you both are very good this year, haven't you? So is that this for the wall back? Backwards. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, well, it's good. Ooh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah. So. Yeah, there's one for you, Daisy, and one for you, Padre. And we're going to get a picture of Father Christmas, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Yeah. Daisy, have you come here? Yeah, I've seen one. This way right here? Oh, yes, you can. Yeah, you come here. That's fine. Yeah, and you can, you can show, show it so you can do that. Show it like that. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yes. Oh, wow.